Well, local breaking news this evening. The governor has suspended two Jacksonville City Council members. Right now, both Reggie Brown and Katrina Brown are out on bond after appearing in federal court yesterday. The charges, which include fraud and money laundering, are related to Katrina Brown's failed family barbecue sauce business. Now, we just received this statement from Mayor Lenny Curry. It reads, the governor has exercised his authority. We will work with his office on plans to engage the community in identifying next steps. Yeah, so speaking of next steps, News for Jack's reporter Jim Piggott joins us live with some of the breaking developments. And, Jim, we've just been working the sources to try and find out what are those next steps. You know, we've been doing that. We've been working the phones here, talking to people, trying to learn more about the suspension of council member Katrina Brown and Reggie Brown. Now, of course, I've tried contacting both of them so far, but they've not answered their phone. The only person that I've been able to talk to is Katrina Brown's attorney, Curtis Fallgatter. Now, he told me on the phone he's not been able to talk to Katrina Brown at this point, but they did expect that this was going to happen. We're fearful that the governor would take that action because, uh, as best we can tell in his pattern, uh, having been governor all these years, is that any public official that gets indicted gets suspended. Uh, he has not contacted us to ask for any explanation or rebuttal. Uh, as you know, we've given uh, detailed information to the U.S. Attorney's Office, but the governor has not seen fit to inquire of us about the accuracy of the allegations. So it's, it's certainly disappointing, not unexpected, because it appears to be how he conducts himself as a governor. Now I want to show you some video as well. This is their council offices downtown, Reggie Brown and also Katrina Brown's offices. As you can see, they're vacant. They weren't there today. Of course, we went there trying to talk to them as well. And again, no word from Reggie Brown's attorney at this point. I was trying to get him as well. Again, these two council members, they're suspended without pay. That's $49,000 a year. Now, the governor can appoint a replacement. And this is kind of where it gets a little bit complicated here. If he does that, there will be no need for a special election. But if Katrina Brown or Reggie Brown decide to resign and that creates a vacancy, well, then there could be a special election. But given that the elections will be next March, supervisor of elections, Mike Hogan, just doesn't believe that's going to happen. I also talked to Anna Brochet about the situation today. She's a council president. She's worried, though, about how these districts of those two councilmen are going to be covered. I'm really concerned about making sure that Districts 8 and Districts, District 10 uh, are making sure that they have the representation that they need. Um, there's a lot of need in the community, and I want to make sure that they're being served. So the question now, who will be appointed? That could be up to the governor at this point, and we're waiting to see if he's going to do that. That could take a while, but again, people are just now gathering this information and trying to learn what happens next. We're live in the newsroom, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.